Rude boy. Okay, yeah. Hey, I'm Parker Rex. Today we're talking about AI stuff. We're talking about three tiered architectures. We're talking about some AI news. Yeah, this is a daily channel. I led tech for a startup that sold for 23 million bucks. We scaled a bunch of tech. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. So, first of all, we got some dope new members. Oh my gosh. This thing that I'm doing is working. I really wanted to have a group of great nerds together, and it's so great because I am not your guru. I'm just someone that's shepherding it, right? And I share what I know, but I have gaps. There's so many better devs in our group now that it's just absolutely bananas. Like we had this guy join yesterday, and his name, he was actually kind of a, kind of ripping on me on the, on the comments a little bit. But he introduced me to this pieces thing, and it's basically... I think the way he explained it was it's like malware plus LLM, but I wanted to talk about it just for a sec. I hate that they have scroll jacking, but they had a good podcast or masterclass, whatever you want to call it, explaining what it does. But it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to like remember stuff that you're doing. It's kind of like recall, but I don't know if any of you guys have used it, but it has nine months worth of context and it's supposed to basically just follow along what you're doing while you're coding. So if you get lost, you won't run in circles. And I'll show you an example from one of the things. Whoa, that's huge. Where is this? Is in my DMs? Let's see. Yeah, that's not it. This. So it's basically just like it remembers all the stuff that you're doing. And I guess that's pretty helpful. But I do think this will be something that's built into the OS at some point. But I just want to call that out and see if anyone's using it. I'm not. But it sounds like an interesting tool. And then Andy Dev Dan, I watched this guy's videos for a long time. And if you haven't checked out his channel, he's got a bunch of good stuff on it. I stopped watching him for a little while just because, I don't know, some of the stuff was overkill for my use case. Doesn't mean it's bad. I think he's probably a, a way better engineer than me. But I'm all about like the practicality of stuff and just flying around. So when, I want to see like real use cases. And anyways, his most recent video he basically lays out these three folders that you should have in all your projects. And it's really like covering for context and AI docs. And then I think the last one's, I should probably know this, right? Let's just look, that's not it. Oh uh, yeah. So the Claude commands is the last one. And I think this is close to what I want which is I don't really want to have any tools besides just cursor and shell scripts. And what you need is basically a set of different things that you're doing over and over and over again. So in my case, what I'm doing, and I'll show you this in practice in a sec, is basically like you'd have a shell script plus the files that you want. And the shell script would include the like file tree so the structure what that looks like in practice is something like this let's make it bigger everyone's gonna complain oh my gosh light mode dude i live in palm beach florida it's beautiful out sorry you're in a dungeon but <laughs> what it looks like in practice is not there that's the front end one that i need to do but you end up with something like this where it's like you can see the actual like file tree both on the existing ver oops the existing version of what you have and then what you want. So if you're doing a refactor, I did a refactor from Flask to Fast API, and this is all agentic. So I didn't actually write much of this code, but I'm reading it, right? So you have that, something that's always dealing with your context. And then AI docs, for me, it's a couple things that I do where it's I do a pitch is the first thing. The pitch comes before the PRD, then you have the PRD. And then you have examples. And this is a mixture of NDDev Dan stuff and like Klein. You have an overview. And then what that looks like in practice is, whoops. You have doo -doo 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 -doo, examples. So the examples of how we're gonna use these in the projects, the PRD. So the thing that like wraps it all together with all the requirements and poking holes in the idea. And this is a product of, I don't know, like 50 chats, 
just like going through and kind of working through it because I trust myself more than I trust the AI to do it. So we work together. The file structure comparison for a refactor. If you're starting that new, you can have it actually give you what you want. But I always say start from scratch. If you've never done it, like I started from scratch and did the flask one and then I was like, oh, this isn't as good. But that's learning. And then the implementation tasks. So that's what I'd include in the AI docs. So this has more to it than Taskmaster, right? Because it's like already has dependency structure built in and then already has more because it has snippets and relative paths and then the overview, which is this is how we're going to do it. I think we're getting closer where you wouldn't need all these tools. The only tool that I, I really am considering, actually, I'll call it out, is Augment. But I'm not sure. I'm still indifferent about it. I haven't talked about it much just because I don't want to bash on stuff that I haven't made a clear decision on. So now let's talk about the like use of this. So I think like the title of this video, like the main point is basically like how to use AI in bigger projects. And this will be a high level of it because this is a daily upload, but the more in depth, like this is like layer one depth ADHD content, and then we'll go to like layer two depth will be on the main channel, and then layer three depth is just like raw recording of three hours of me actually working, and that's in the school. Yeah, it's paid. So three-tiered architecture, I want to talk about that and what I'm doing with my product Echo. And so if you didn't know what Echo is, Echo basically solves for Echo. The problem that it solves is YouTube videos are annoying to produce. Not to actually record. This part's fun. All the stuff around it sucks. So that's the why. And you always start with the why. And then the what is a UI I can upload to and get all metadata titles, thumbnails. In a later version, it'll recursively check the performance of the video against others like it or in its sector and then auto-optimize. So you wouldn't have to go and like rehash or whatever, which would be cool. And then the how we're getting into now. So that's the actual like technicals. So the evolution from prototype to where I am now was initially, if you watch the channel, Cool, mounted a bucket. Originally, I was like, whoa, cool, I can mount a bucket and then I'll just drop stuff in here and then it'll do it. And I did that. And I made a few videos where they were auto uploading. First versions of it like broke YouTube because I accidentally sent 75 versions of the same video. But it proved the, the thing would be helpful because it could do anything. Like, I started with one thing. Oh, it does subtitles and chapters. And then I just started layering more. And I was like, whoa, I could do a lot of stuff with this. And I started talking about it on the internet. Then I started talking about it to friends and realized, oh, companies want this. So then I'm like, okay, I got to go to the next level and also kind of need a front end because I can't really see what's going on and like staring at Docker logs or G GCS, or not GCS, but like a, staring at like logs basically to know if it's working isn't as nice as having a front end. So then that brought up like, okay, I need to think about this. And there was a learning curve and fall for it. There's stuff I didn't need, I didn't necessarily know. So out of 10, this is what I do whenever I'm like starting something new because I've learned so many different things and you just have to be honest, which is like zero through 10. Where are you on the tech that you think you need for this? And that's a big question. So I knew I needed, I didn't think I needed, I knew I needed Docker and I was like a three out of 10. And then I knew I needed Python because there's going to be like a lot of agentic stuff and I want to use Google and Python's the best way to do that. It's the only way to do it. So I was like a two out of 10 on this. And then I knew I didn't want to use next because I've had so many issues with it and because I am doing a separate backend. So I wanted to try Tanstack start, which I've used Tanstack query, but that's not routing. So it's like, I'm like a one. And so I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff. And then there's also GCP and I was probably like a three. So what I did was I kind of like 
looked at this and I'm like, okay, like knowing this, there's going to be this idiot tax that I'm going to pay down with time. Am I willing to do that? And yeah, easy for me. <laughs> I am. So what that meant was just going and reading docs. The Docker docs are awesome. Python, there's so much different documentation out there. It's easy to learn. It's really like simple syntax. Tanstack was probably the toughest just because it's at first, like I was just reading the Tanstack start docs, but then you realize that it's just Tanstack router with some goodies on top of it. So there's plenty of examples there. And then GCP, there's a fantastic number of examples. So that's when I said, okay, I'm going to just go for it. And then that's when this three tiered architecture came into place. So I'm looking at it now and I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? I have this new mixture of Klein and like cursor and the ND dev damn thing kind of with like scripts. How am I going to do this? So the next step for me and what I'll be recording on the main channel is basically pulling this all together in a three tiered architecture where I'll have, let me create DB. So everything will be reliant on front end, DB, back end, these credentials. This was for when I was just doing it manually. So these are service accounts. I'm not going to click on them. But there are service accounts that allow me to do this stuff with admin IAM perms, which like no user on the planet wants to deal with. So because we have a front end now, that won't even need to be there. And I'll just make this like a lot more fun to work on. I think that's an issue too with people is when they AI code stuff, they're giving it the wheel too much and you need to take the wheel. Like even if you're a newbie, like newbies over index the power, seniors under index the power. There needs to be somewhere in between, or it's if you're a newbie, good, glad, welcome to the game. You've gotten more dopamine than every other programmer on the planet by them not just getting Hello World, you're getting like an app, tic-tac-toe or whatever, but now you need to skill up. And so then to that point, like they'll just let stuff fly and they hate to work on it because they're confused. So you need to like, as you're going, you know, you kind of clean the kitchen as you're cooking. It's kind of the same with cleaning your code base as you're coding. So that it's just easier to work on and it's more maintainable. So in my case, I'm going to end up cleaning all this so that I don't have like a bunch of crap and then it'll just be at the top level. It'll be like back end, front end, DB, docs. And then docs, I'm going to move everything out of these different tiers. So it'll be like back end docs and then front end docs and then at the core it'll be docs. And that way, I'll have the ability to manipulate all the areas in the specifics. If there's a roadmap for the back end, or an implementation plan and those tasks, then those are separate and the front end will be separate and the database will be separate. And then there'll be one that's above that and the parent, which is just docs, which is something that touches all of them. So it's like a connection between the three. For instance, if I want to do like a Docker swarm or whatever, or frankly, just like gluing them together. So that's what I'm excited about. That's going to be recording. In general, the community is growing, and I'm, I'm like really pretty excited about it, honestly. Like this open telemetry thing I talked about yesterday, but I think this will be, I'm not going to jump ship on any of my projects to go and implement this, but it's something that's on my horizon. I know that this is so sick. Like I can just tell because we manually did this at Delivery Dudes where it's like you have these things and then you react to them, but you want agents to react to them. And so with open telemetry, you can kind of like stream all your stuff under the hood down. But that's exciting. And then we have a master class on Friday that our boy Hari is going to be doing. So he's going to be talking about all like the N8N vibe marketing stuff because he's in the field doing it. He's got clients and he's producing a bunch of content for them. So that'll be cool. So if you're interested in that, we do the marketing ones on Fridays, every other Friday. And then it's basically like we flip flop between coding ones and marketing ones because everyone needs to know both. I don't care what you think. That's what I think. So, yeah. And it's half off right now until I launch out with AI, which I'll actually be building a public on here too. So once I get Echo up and running, then I'll go and switch into the iVibe with AI stuff and all the content will be around that. And uh, make sure you like the video because, you know, that's a good thing to do. I also need to build this, some Discordy stuff. If anyone's built with Discord, please let me know. 
what's the best practice for verification of members. That's like an easy one, but I want to have like content feeds in there with Vertex. So if you're interested in that and you want to build something together, hit me up, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.